following the bucket by the Heat. Outside Sexton. Pass to Mobley. To the wing on the left. Down to five on the shot clock. Goes back up. Allen. Great positioning on the putback. You know what? That's all about hustle and a nose for the basketball. Tremendous job on the offensive glass by Jared Allen. It's Lowry with a drive. Mobley grabs the board. For Cleveland, they've gone one of three from the floor. Pass to Garland. Here's Osman. Butler covering. Allen, the pass to Sexton. Here's Mobley. Back to Garland. Oh, it's stolen by Tucker. In transition, here they come. Oh, he misses the wide open dunk. And it was a great chance to finish on the break. And he flubs it. It was right there for him. He'd love to have that one back. That was embarrassing. Woo! His energy is unmatched. The finish and transition, nice and easy. First quarter and about a minute and a half in. And Kyle Lowry had a ton of suitors in free agency. And many teams felt he could be the player to put them over the top. But ultimately, he chose the Heat because they had recently gone to the finals. And I'll tell you what, it seems like a great fit overall. Here's Osman. Looking at his stats, he's putting up about seven and a half per game. He's turned it over twice pretty quickly. Time to refocus. Butler's shot is good. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Heat. They've come out in full attack mode defensively, applying pressure and stealing it away repeatedly. Yeah, and I think the other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've gotten off turnovers. Now here's Garland, a reliable offensive contributor, putting up almost 14 a game. Jerry and Allen. Allen gets it to go. Intelligent basketball. Keep feeding the hot hand. Pass to Tucker, beyond the arc. The rebound by Allen. For Cleveland, they've gone two of four so far. Inside, here's Mobley. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Well, just quick with the decision-making, smart pass by Darius Garland. Lowry, the pass to Butler. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Butler's got six. Hey, when he's hitting that shot, it really helps the spacing for this team. And what happens is the court just opens up. You like seeing him get into a rhythm from outside the arc. Love it. We've got three t-shirts. A big group substitution here for Miami. Turner, he's checked in for Adebayo. Deadman comes in for Tucker. Martin, he's checked in for Butler. And it's Hero in for Oladipo. Now here's Markkinen. Right now averaging six a game. Wow, able to survey over the top of defenses as well as squeeze into tight quarters. Rubio is the consummate playmaker. Pass to Martin. There's the triple. And the Heat, another three. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Sexton against Hero. And the shot goes. Colin How about Sexton. the soft touch on the floater from Colin Sexton? You must have that in your arsenal. Lowry drives in. Here's Deadman. And there's the foul. It's on Colin Sexton. Colin Sexton. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Pass to Deadman. Five on the clock. Back to Martin. The three is up. He can't get it to go. And it's Cleveland the other way. This, their first chance to take a look at the Heat this season. Their first try against a familiar club. It should be a good one. Here's Hero. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. The Cavs trailing. Pass to Akuro. Market it outside. To the middle. Here's Akuro. 
And it's Miami with a rebound. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Now here's Lowry. Checked by Sexton. Back to Martin. Pass to Lowry. There's the drive. Love grabs the miss. For Cleveland, they've gone five of nine from the floor. On the wing, Sexton. He's guarded by Hero. Sexton misses. Hero right side. And he dunks it down right as the buzzer sounded. Wow! Oh, you'd like to end every quarter this way. And so it's Miami closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. Looking to run whenever they can. That's part of why they lead. Back to the game after this break. Good to great. The catchphrase of unselfish play. And point guard Ricky Rubio says it also characterizes this team's growth mentality. We want more. We don't accept good. We want great or greatest. We're just trying to be better every day. It's never too high, never too Grant, it's great to have veteran leaders like Rubio. It really is. And continuing to search for that next level as a team. That growth mind state can only help. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. Let's quickly break down what we've seen from the Heat. Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. And we know this. Every team in the league now seems to be looking to play with pace. So for Cleveland right now, Mobley and Allen together in the middle. Ricky Rubio is out there with Darius Garland. And it's Osmond Darius in at the three. Fast off the floor is Darius Garland just showing you that tremendous leaping ability when he first came into the NBA Grant Darius Garland was a little bit of a mystery he only played five games in college because of an injury but it didn't stop the Cavs from taking him with the fifth pick overall in 2019 and that's how obvious his talent was it was clear his offensive skill set could translate to the NBA and when you've got a guy who can shoot over the defense who can get into the lane and finish can't pass him up no matter how many games he played in college both teams are starting to find a rhythm here and this is partly what the game has become right a matter of dueling three-point opportunities now here's Oladipo last game for him he picked up 10 Garland against Butler pass to Mobley with it and here's Rubio he's guarded by Oladipo outside Rubio launches a three hey Tucker with the defensive effort the Heat have gone three of five since the beginning of the second and good coming on the set up by Oladipo Tucker's gotten himself going here his first point to the game on the deep ball over to the left wing Rubio here's Mobley Pass to Osman. And stolen by Adebayo. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. KBA, the Cavaliers steadily rebuilding since LeBron's departure. Their win percentage has climbed season over season. Coach Bickerstaff said, quote, development takes time, patience, and understanding. But there's a clear vision of the process that we go through to become champions once again. All right, Ali, good stuff there. Thank you. Now here's Tucker. This is the most they've led, 13 points. Nice open look, but it's no good. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. Well, here we are at midseason now, Grant. How do players mentally cope with the grind of an NBA season? Yeah, that's a good question, B.A. I mean, you have to find ways to take your mind off of things as a team. Having outlets helps distract you. It's so important for players as they endure the lengthy season. Boy, at some point, you've got to realize there might be a better option standing next to you. This guy has not made one basket in this period. And the basket by Rubio. A tough period. I mean, he's just one for five in this frame, struggling to get back on track. Miami's gotten six of ten three-pointers to drop. And that's a foul called on Ricky Rubio. That's his first foul. Turner, he's checked in for Tucker. First team foul. 
in for the Cavaliers. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the second quarter. The shot by Oladipo, no good. Cleveland has gone just one of four from downtown so far in the second. Garland against Hero. Back to Garland. Love the screen on Hero. Here's Garland. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. Garland's gotten his third basket of the night. Well, that's the ball handling skills of Darius Garland on full display. This guy is skilled at creating opportunities. Me. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. To the inside. To the paint. Here's Love. Oh, and Turner with a block. Miles Turner with that block. Sends it back. Twice on the pipe. Miles. And the Heat with some changes. Deadman's checked in for Adebayo. Martin comes in for Jimmy Butler. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Oladipo. And a switch here also for Cleveland. Sexton's checked in. Now here's Sexton. A steady force on their offense. Recording around 14 and a half a game. Stolen by Hero. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Out to Lowry. Pass to Martin. Back to Lowry. Fires the three. Martin with the bucket. Martin's got his second bucket of the night. Well, the consistency with which Kyle Lowry involves his teammates is really a sight to behold. This guy's such a good passer. To the inside. Robbed. He got it up. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. The clock runs out, and we are headed to halftime. Heat out in front, leading by 14. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway. Come one, come all. The 2K halftime is here, and so is our breakdown of the upcoming schedule. Let's check it out. And for that matchup with the Pacers, this is one they'll be favored in. But they can't let their guard down. The talent disparity isn't that much. Worst thing you can do is play down to your competition. And now let's take a look at the excellent first half we've seen so far for the Heat. It all starts with their shooting. And they're on fire from behind the arc. And I could say the opposite when it comes to the other side. When there's this much disparity in three-point shooting, it usually makes a big difference on the scoreboard. And enough of our shenanigans. It's time to send you back courtside for the second half. Shenanigans. You know what, Shaq? You're a world-class rapper, platinum albums, blah, blah, blah. Can you rap the word shenanigans in a rap? Of course. You ready? I'm ready. Let me introduce you to my two favorite friends. That's right, baby. We're back with our shenanigans. The pandemic ends and the fans come again. Back to b-ball, y'all been famishing. Ooh, Ooh drop the mic. Was, bars. That was, bars. That was solid. Bars. Thank you, Ernie. Thank you, Ernie. As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. It has been one outstanding game from Jimmy Butler. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. At the forward slots, Butler and Tucker. Kyle Lowry out there with Victor Oladipo. And it's Adebayo in at the center position. That's the group on the floor for Miami. Well, a nice job by Colin Sexton to find the open man. You want to see court awareness from the young gun. For three, Oladipo. And again, Miami with a triple. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Boy, it is hard not to love the absolute high energy level Colin Sexton plays with. He's relentless. He stays active whether he's on or off the ball. 
And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. <laughs> Showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sends shockwaves into the opposition sails. Lowry into the lane. Rejected by Allen. This guy is a sensational Ooh. shot blocker. Jared Allen Jerry twice Garland. on the pipes. That's hey, second you can't block ball. it. Sending him First to the line can be the next best thing. And that high now energy play from Sexton. Or something you also here. see on the defensive end. This guy wants to harass anybody who's trying to handle the basketball. He wants to outwork you. He wants to make the most of any chance he gets to get an impact on the basketball game. Allen can't get it to go. And for Miami, they're shooting 56% today. Out of bio with it. He's picked up by Garland. And here's Butler outside. Ooh, he's been flawless tonight. Now he's six for six. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. Cleveland calls timeout. And you know Grant Bam out of bio expanding his offensive game. He's got a legitimate shot. He's a legitimate threat from mid-range now. I mean, out of bio, he takes a lot of shots from mid-range. He does a good amount of damage with his shot. You figure it's just a matter of time before those become three-point attempts. Now here's Allen. His stats right now averaging nine points a game. Here's Oladipo, and here comes the break. Butler can't get it to go. And it was a great chance to finish on the break, and he flubs it. It was right there for him. He'd love to have that one back. That was embarrassing. Here's Mobley. Pass to Allen to stop the run. Outside for Sexton. Connects from downtown. Oh, Sexton. Sexton's got five. Well, this is what you call finding angles to come off in the catch and shoot situation. Nice job by Colin Sexton. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Outside Sexton. Garland with a screen on Oladipo. Pass to Mobley. Outside Garland. Six to shoot. Now Sexton. Oladipo with the rebound. Here's Lowry. Banked it in off the glass. Lowry's got his second basket of the game. When Kyle Lowry touches that painted area, he is aggressive to score, and he is so able to finish on the interior. Here's Osman looking for his first basket still in this one. Here's Mobley. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Well, you get exactly what you want right there. Clean look right at the cup. Nicely done. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. Colin Sexton's nickname in Alabama was the Young Bull. He said, quote, I just play with a lot of passion. Through adversity, no matter what the score is, I play a complete game. Every time I step on the court, I have to show the world what I can do. Oh, tremendous energy, Allie, right? Thanks for that. Here's Allen, and it's Allen who slams it home. Well, Jared Allen has length and athleticism, and that's an easy opportunity. Wow. To the wing, right side. Tucker, no good. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Pass to Garland. Allen with it. On the wing, Sexton. Allen with a screen on Oladipo. Here's Sexton. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got six rebounds in the game. The drive by Butler. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. After this game, they can look forward to Washington, where they'll match up against the Wizards. That game will conclude the three-game road trip they're currently on. Outside Sexton. Oh, there's the alley! Stolen by Lowry. Fast break Miami. Here's Adebayo. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. And there's the whistle. Foul on the Cleveland Cavaliers. And he knocks down the first one. You have to love the style Bam brings with him to the floor. He's such a spirited player, and you can see his teammates enjoy it as well. The Cavaliers have gone four of nine in the third quarter. Here's Sexton. 
and it's blocked by Deadman. And it's out of bounds for the Cavaliers as Cleveland retains possession. Turner, he's checked in for Miami. Here's Sexton. He's got five. Now here's Rubio to the left wing. Love for three. Oh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. So Kevin Love is six foot ten, two hundred and fifty-one pounds. He's a double-double threat on a nightly basis. He can stretch the floor from distance. He can score it from virtually anywhere. What more could you ask? And he makes all three. For Miami, they've gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. It's Lowry with a drive. Good on the shot. Lowry's got eight. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. Sexton against Hero. Over to the wing. Here's Okoro. Marking it from long range. Hits a three-pointer. He's got five. Well, Coro is a team-first guy that wants to involve his teammates. Pretty pass there. And so it's the Miami Heat leading by 17 at the end of the period, building this lead up in large part because of how well they're shooting it. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. Let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And the Heat shooting has been great this game. 58% on the court right now for Cleveland. Sexton and Okuro, they're the wings. Lori Markkinen out there with Kevin Love. And it's Rubio in at the one. And the three-pointer gaining prominence. Grant, that shot wasn't a big part of your game until later in your career. Why was that something you waited to develop? Well, over the years, the game had changed during my career. Early on, I didn't need it as much in terms of how I played. But at the end of my career, more of a complimentary role, I had to be able to knock down three-pointers. But I did a pretty good job. Cleveland has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Outside love. Hero against Markkinen. Pass to Love. Six on the shot clock. It's rebounded by Deadman. Lowry against Sexton. Hero for three. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Have to show more effort defensively. Everyone knows he can do that from deep. Well, to me, that's just inexcusable. You start to wonder how much they really want this basketball game. And the Heat with some changes. Bam Adebayo is checked in for Deadman. Jimmy Butler comes in for Martin. And Oladipo is subbed in for Lowry. Mobley, he's checked in for the Cavs. Garland comes in for Rubio. In for the Cavaliers. A few possessions into the fourth. Just over a minute play. Garland against Hero. Here's Mobley. Pass to Love. Shot clock at five. Cleveland needs to get off a shot. Okoro. Oladipo with the rebound. The Heat have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. The Cavaliers pull it in. Mobley's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Well, this has not been his finest hour, but give your teammates some credit for doing the job of stepping in. Pass to Akuro. And whenever a team has a superstar talent, Doris, there's immediate pressure to build a roster that can win a title. Obviously, more teams fail than succeed. There's no doubt, B.A., because what you're seeing in the modern NBA is 
Those guys who not only obviously want to get paid, this is a business, but what happens is they also want to win because it's all about their legacy. And so they put pressure on an organization. Make sure we have the pieces to compete for a championship. Here's the Kuro. Outside Garland. Back to low. Trying to get back on track. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. We absolutely love the versatility of Kevin Love's game, right? The inside-outside threat. The high percentage shooting you get. Osman, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. It's Hero on the take. Turner finds Hero. Back to Turner. Now Oladipo. Driving to the basket. And there's Butler. That one's good. On the assist by Oladipo. You know, Doris, another thing about Love's versatile skill set is that it shows up on both ends of the floor. It certainly does. I mean, consider in 2011, this guy was the league leader in rebounds. He's a do-it-all player. Whatever the team needs, he's going to deliver. The shot by Butler. No good. I'll tell you, most of the time, this guy's going to finish that. But that was tremendous defense that prohibits him from completing the play. That shot wide open. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for Miami. Their activity at the defensive end has been impressive. Attacking and coming away with steals. Yeah, and something else that served them well are all the turnovers they've caused and the points that have come along with those. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. The Heat making their last shot. Here's Markkinen. That one a little long. Miami has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Well, the scoreboard tells you everything you need to know about this one. A great showing here for the Heat. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And they really wanted this one. It pushes their win total up to 21. And having this win on the books might give them a little mental advantage the next two times these squads meet. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for Jimmy Butler. What you love about his performance is that he is simply taking what the defense allows and then making the most of his opportunities. And it's Miami's ball. This run now up to 13-2. Ooh, it's slammed in by Oladipo. Finishing the game strong. This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. No question. They've got hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Heat. A different look for Miami. Deadman checked in for Bam Adebayo. Martin comes in for Jimmy Butler. And it's Lowry in for Oladipo. Okoro is checked in for the Cavs. Rubio comes in for Garland. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth. Lowry, it's deflected. Pass to Martin. Here's Deadman. Rubio with the ball. Market it inside. The three from Okoro. No luck on that one. So it's the Heat winning this one easily. Boy, they were something special to watch tonight. And the crowd loving every second of it. It's always a great feeling when you play this well for your fans. This team really showed what it's capable of. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Jimmy, a strong finish to close it out. What was the difference? Um, being a lot more aggressive. Obviously made some shots, but uh, I think in the end we guarded well. And we executed on offense and we made some shots. All right, Allie, thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. So long, everybody.